Okay, question 17. We've got a graph here, which is called y equals f of x. It's got the vertex here. Let's put a blob here. That's a. And a. It's got the coordinates 1, 2. We want to write down the coordinates after it's gone y equals fx plus 3. Well, that's just a, a translation up 3 units because it's outside their function of x. It just means that the y value gets increased by 3. So it's 1, 2, 3. So it's going to end up there. So therefore, a becomes once the cross still, but the y value's gone up by th 5. Second part asks us um, f of x minus 2, well that's also a translation, but it's now a horizontal translation, because it's inside the bracket makes it horizontal, and it's minus 2, well it does the opposite when it's inside the bracket, so that's actually to the right two units. So when it's inside the bracket, that means it's the horizontal, and it does the opposite of what you expect. Plus three means go up three, it's kind of obvious, but minus two actually means two units to the right. So let's have a look what's going to happen. Well, it's going to move two units to the right here, so it's going to end up there, isn't it? So it's going to end up at the point um, three, two. And the last little bit, curve with equation y equals fx is transformed to give the curve y equals minus fx. So while well, it's outside the bracket, so that means it's a flip or it's a reflection, because we have to be technical. In our heads it's flip, but mathematically it's a reflection. And it's a reflection in the x-axis. That means anything above the axis goes below the axis. So it's actually going to be a shape, kind of a U-shape down here like that. Okay, so reflection in the x-axis. Um, if you need to, go and look up um, transformations of graphs.